In today's video, we are going to be looking at the recap of the movie, Green Book. The film opens with Tony Lip Vallelonga, a tough-talking bouncer at the famous Copacabana nightclub in New York City. When the club temporarily closes for renovations, Tony finds himself unemployed and in need of a new job to support his wife, Dolores, and their two children. His search for work takes him through a variety of odd jobs, but none of them offer the stability and income he needs. Tony's streetwise demeanor and resourcefulness are evident as he hustles to make ends meet, demonstrating his determination and dedication to his family. Meeting Dr. Don Shirley, Tony is eventually invited to an interview at Carnegie Hall, where he meets Dr. Don Shirley, a highly educated and sophisticated African-American pianist who lives in a lavish apartment above the concert hall. Dr. Shirley, dressed in regal attire, presents a stark contrast to Tony's rough and tumble appearance. During the interview, Dr. Shirley explains that he needs a driver and bodyguard for his upcoming concert tour in the Deep South, where racial tensions are high. Despite their cultural differences and initial misunderstandings, Tony accepts the job, enticed by the high pay and the promise of a steady income. The journey of tour begins. As Tony and Dr. Shirley embark on their tour, they are armed with the Green Book, a guidebook that lists safe accommodations and restaurants for African Americans in the segregated South. Their journey begins with an awkward and tense atmosphere, as Tony's boisterous and uncouth behavior clashes with Dr. Shirley's refined and dignified demeanor. The duo's interactions are filled with moments of humor and friction, highlighting their vastly different upbringings and worldviews. Despite the initial challenges, Tony is determined to do his job well, and Dr. Shirley remains. Committed to his mission of bringing his music to audiences in the South. Confrontations with Racism As they travel deeper into the South, Tony and Dr. Shirley encounter blatant and systemic racism. Dr. Shirley is often treated with disrespect and hostility, facing discrimination at hotels, restaurants, and concert venues. Tony witnesses firsthand the humiliating and dangerous situations that Dr. Shirley endures, from being denied entry to White's only establishments to facing physical threats. In one particularly harrowing scene, Dr. Shirley is attacked by a group of white men in a bar, and Tony rushes in to protect him. These experiences profoundly impact Tony, who begins to understand the severity of the racial injustice that Dr. Shirley faces daily. Through their shared experiences and challenges, Tony and Dr. Shirley start to develop a deep and genuine friendship. Tony's rough edges begin to soften as he learns to appreciate Dr. Shirley's talents and intellect. In return, Dr. Shirley teaches Tony about the finer things in life, such as classical music, proper diction, and letter writing. Their bond strengthens as they open up to each other about their personal struggles and insecurities. Dr. Shirley reveals the loneliness he feels as a black artist in a predominantly white world while Tony reflects on his own biases and the importance of standing up for what is right. The Christmas Eve Arrest One of the most pivotal moments in the film occurs when Tony and Dr. Shirley are arrested in a southern town for being out past curfew. Tony had promised his wife and kids that he will be home before Christmas, so he was very anxious to go home and meet his family. The police officer made a racial comment about Tony, and immediately, Tony dashed out a heavy blow on the officer's face and both of them were arrested. Dr. Shirley was very angry at what Tony had done. Dr. Shirley requested to make a call, and it was granted to him. Dr. Shirley uses his connections to call Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy, who intervenes to secure their release. This incident underscores the constant danger they face and the lengths to which Dr. Shirley must go to protect himself in a racially hostile environment. The experience also solidifies Tony's role as Dr. Shirley's protector and ally, further deepening their bond. The climax of the film takes place during Dr. Shirley's final concert in Birmingham, Alabama. Despite being the star performer, Dr. Shirley is barred from dining in the white-only restaurant of the venue. In a powerful act of defiance, Dr. Shirley refuses to perform under these discriminatory conditions and decides to leave. Instead, he and Tony go to a black blues club, where Dr. Shirley delivers an impromptu and soul-stirring performance on the piano. This act of solidarity with the black community highlights Dr. Shirley's resolve to stand up against injustice and his commitment to his principles. After completing the tour, Tony drives Dr. Shirley back to New York. They part ways with a newfound appreciation for each other and the lessons they have learned. 
On Christmas Eve, Dr. Shirley surprises Tony by showing up at his home to celebrate with Tony's family, symbolizing the deep friendship they have formed. This final scene underscores the film's message about the power of human connection and the ability to overcome prejudice through mutual respect and understanding. These detailed descriptions of the key events in Green Book provide a deeper understanding of the character's development and the film's central themes of friendship, racism, and personal growth. If you find this interesting, kindly like, comment, and subscribe to support this page.